Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A7C and Fujifilm X100V. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A7C and the Fujifilm X100V are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 14th of September 2020 and the 4th of February 2020. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7C. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X100V. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A7C and the Fujifilm X100V. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A7C. And here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X100V. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7C. I found the product easy to carry when I'm outside, but I didn't like the small viewfinder and the annoying placement on the side. I absolutely love this camera. It's perfect for general photography and some professional work too. It's incredibly compact and great for travel. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X100V. I bought the Fuji X100V as a hobbyist photographer, and I'm really impressed with the new lens elements, touchscreen interface and joystick. The camera is snappy and quick to use, although it does get warm near the battery area. The weight distribution is right side dominant and the included strap is not very good, but overall I'm happy with my purchase. The camera has great quality, features and appearance. However, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity is terrible. It's difficult to connect to devices, and the required app has a user-unfriendly interface. Additionally, I can't import raw files through Bluetooth. Overall, the camera is great for shooting, but the wireless capabilities are lacking. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A7C. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Fujifilm X100V. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 